Uh, Sunday the 1st of May 2022, you're welcome back. It's uh, dull, there has been good rain, there's a bit of growth and uh, things are fairly good on that front. Now this, is, uh, this video is totally about a technical subject. It's nothing to do with politics or opinion or anything else. This is about radio and how radio works and trying to share it with you. Now, my father uh, was making crystal radios and made them in the 1930s and he, maybe earlier and he had just one brother he had no sister he had one brother bernard and he was at the same thing that be developing photographs and all that when nobody was at it and obviously a wee bit of that has rubbed off on me now so so uh, it is about electricity and electronics again if you're into it if you'd like to see it it's good now i this is not meant to be me showing off and there are people particularly on the anonymous discussion forums who do not like country people like me and if i make a mistake here they'll say oh look at that he's a failure this is about fun this is about the fun of experimenting with this very simple subject it suits all ages and everything like that even though i may not be able to uh, put it for kids on the youtube because then you can't comment so what i might do is put some for adults and make one then for kids and it can be commented somewhere else because these are completely educational and harmless now when a radio station sends out a signal like an am uh, um, amplif am amplified modu amplitude mod modulation ampli amplitude modulation sorry am signal and there's fm and there's all that frequency modulation when it does so what it's actually sending out is a very weak uh, alternating current signal which will travel through the air. It doesn't need wire. Generally, it grounds one end and it sends the, 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 the waves out through the air in all directions. Now, these are sometimes called signals, but it's not really a signal. It's an alternating current capable of traveling through the air. And it comes about by the destruction of the electrons inside in the atoms by the transmitter. It does all kinds of things to them, but essentially it disrupts them. And it's the same as if you held a blow lamp to a piece of steel or a piece of copper and heat it really hot, it'll send out light. And when it gets a certain heat, you'll see the light maybe 100 yards away, 100 meters away. And so this is in the form of radio signals and they travel at the speed of light. So this alternating current goes out in all directions, out across the land, and it's a science on its own to understand how it works. So again, this is the key. If this was direct current, it wouldn't work. It's alternating current waves. But the waves, and this is a big science. When you get into waves and particles, you're into a big load of science. So then you have the red line here is the aerial. Is, is the aerial. Now I'm going to show you the aerial I put up. I'm going, I'm going to pause this, but sometimes this camera goes into a funny mode. I'm, this may be the end of it. If not, we'll go out and we'll make another one. And I'll just call out the number. But it'll always be 40. It'll always be 44. So the next one will be 44A. Uh, or 40, 40. Maybe, maybe yeah, 44A. Uh, so we'll see then how that'll go. Hopefully I get out to show you the aerial. Now here is the studio. This is an old, an old house. And I'm going to show you what's needed. You need an aerial. And you need um, a ground. And in, in case somebody might decide to do this, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if some people might give it a go. Uh, in in most houses with plumbing and all that in them, the uh, copper pipes will do for the ground. But please, if you're using the copper pipe under the sink in the kitchen, assuming that her herself will not object, uh, uh, make sure that the co connection is real good. Give it a bit of a rub with steel wool or, or a wee bit of sandpaper, just a little, and make sure the copper connection is good. And ideally, you'd use a, cop, uh, uh, a crocodile clip. What will plague you with this is bad connection. So try and get the connection under the sink or whatever. If not, you have to make your own, as I've done here, your own uh, um, uh, ground by driving something into the ground and put plenty of salty water around it. And that will give you an earth. So what happens is the signal goes out through the air but it's also in the earth as well. And the earth provides a grounding, it's technical, that, that the signal uh, uh, tries to overcome. The signal tries to flow through the wire into the ground. So if you put a big wire up 500 yards long, uh, it'll 
and you touch it to the ground, it'll flow into the ground. You'll not see anything, it's very weak. Now, one of the things of putting up an aerial are insulators, and the ideal ones for these are from farm supply stores for electric fencing. There's one there, you just, that's one. And here's a lovely little one you get, these wee small ones. Where's the camera? Oh, there. there there's little small ones, you see them? Little insulators. And then this one you can screw into a tree. Buy them for a couple, couple of cents, a couple of cents. The other thing it's wise to have is electric bands. You can buy them, or elastic bands, sorry, elastic bands. And they're useful if you're stringing up an aerial because they mean that if it got caught with somebody, it won't do harm and it won't pull down the house and all that. Now for the aerial, I like to use this stuff. This is steel wire. You'll buy this in a farm center and the trouble is they want you to buy about 400 yards of it. You only need a little. Do not buy it if it doesn't bend freely. It must bend freely, it's galvanized wire. It's nice and pliable and it's it, now good copper wire if it was stripped would do as well and i will not tell you whether it matters if there's a coating on copper wire but a coating on copper wire might inhibit the signal this is bare wire and that's all you need you'll get that in most farm supply shop, shops right now what i'm going to do now folks this may be the end of this video if it is you understand i'm going to attempt to get out to photograph the aerial outside the aerial outside but what i have here and this is what this is i have put this out through the back window and i put it down really 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 well in the ground so that it's a real good earth it's, as good, it's better than a normal earth and, and this is the end of it here so i can i can clip it here in the studio now it's awkward having it here it's a nuisance you'll be tripping across it now but it's only for the temporary temporary idea so the next thing now folks if i'm not here i've shown you the insulators i've shown you all those so the next thing then is to bring you out and try and show you the the aerial and i have to pause for that